Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and get the most out of their startup or their business. This one in particular is a racy chart or a responsible, accountable, consulted and informed uh, matrix. Now this is a really powerful tool to use to help people understand what they're supposed to be doing when they start a new role or if they're working in a project and coming on board a project. You know, what are they, what is their role accountable for or responsible for? And what it means is if it's R or responsible, that means they're performing the task. If they're accountable, it's the person who uh, usually signs off on it or who has to answer for that thing, usually an executive or someone similar. If they're consulted, it might be a subject matter expert or someone from that part of the business or who uses the system, they provide their expert ju judgment, they're consulted on it. And informed is who do we need to inform about it? Is there a department who's being impacted? Do we need to inform them? Um, is there an executive who's impacted? Do we need to inform them of, these, uh, inf of this information or this change? And noting all of these things down with R, A, C and I on a chart with their name against the different tasks or the deliverables um, is such a powerful way to visualize it. And we're going to create it in Excel and uh, it's got a beautiful little drop down here so you can change it and it's uh, you know a few little tricks that we'll go through as well. Let's check it out. Now the first thing we're going to do is just do the general coloring and, uh, and borders of the sheet and we'll speed it up ever so slightly as we go through this to get to the really good stuff in the racy chart. And for our chart, I think we're just going to make the height around about 35 and the width for these can be around 7. We'll give ourselves a nice deep blue just to, to start with and we'll merge and center this and just color that white so people know that they can fill it in. This one will give a nice sandy color and this is where we're going to put the just the details of our racy. So who's responsible or what it means. Responsible, accountable, consulted and informed. We'll give ourselves just a little border around this one and we just want to merge these two together and then copy this all the way across. We'll give these some normal borders and for this one we actually want to, to format this and we want, the, uh, we want to just change the alignment and the text to be 90 degrees. So if we click OK there and then if we start typing we can say this is our task or deliverable then that's going to show up at 90 degrees and just fit really nicely. We'll just center that one there and we're going to color that, uh, we'll give that a little bit of a nice turquoise color and the white, uh, the white text so that really does stand out enough and we can make that bold. Here we're going to put our name, our people's names and their project role or the role on the actual project itself. We'll merge and center that one and we'll just increase this ever so slightly. Now we've got a really, really good start. Let's just fill out the borders for the rest of our, our items and we can start by giving them thick borders just to show where we're up to. Then we can select them all and go to more borders and what we'll actually do here is just give ourselves a bit of a dark grey but also a dashed line and that can be in the middle there and if we select OK that'll do all of those dashed lines at once. We'll just merge and center this one, put that to the right and indent it ever so slightly. And now we can go to view and just get rid of our grid lines and now you, as you can see it's really starting to look good. We just want to put one more, uh, one more border in here in the middle. We'll select more borders and do multiple ones at a time. Let's do it that dark grey, uh, the normal line and right in the middle uh, vertically. And there we go. Now that's looking really good. And now we can put our names down the side here and their project roles. So we might have, um, we might have Jones here. Or we might have uh, Billy. We might have Tommy, for example, Anne. And their project role might be project manager. All of the different various roles that you can have or that you'd like to have within your project space. But how do we assign the, the RACI or the RACI in a nice way using a nice drop down list as we saw? Well to do that we actually have to first set up the drop down list itself. With this one we've got our, our four areas here. Let's just give them borders so that we can work with that immediately. And as you can see we can start with our RACI. These are the ones that we're going to be choosing from when we have our drop down list or when we create our drop down list. We can of course give them nice colors as well as we're going along and we can just nicely put exactly what they mean. So responsible, who performs the task and accountable, who signs off, exactly as we were going through before. But now we have the, the ideas for our drop down list and to, to put that onto our RACI chart we select all of this uh, section here and we go to data and we go to data validation, data validation here and we want to allow a list. Now the list that we're looking at is this detail that we just set up here, RACI. 
And if we select all of those cells and click OK, then every time we do this, uh, then it's going to come up with either R, A, C, I, depending on what we select. But we just want to make this look a little bit nicer as well, as you can see. So we're just going to center this, put them in the center, make them a little bit nicer and larger, have a bit of a dark gray color for the items. And we can do some conditional formatting to see, to change the colors depending on what actually shows up, like R, A, C, or I. And to do that, we select all of this again, go to conditional formatting, and let's say we want a new rule. For this particular one, we'll say format only cells that contain specific text containing an R. And for the R, we want that fill to be that the yellow, just like our other one, and maybe our font can be just a little bit of that dark gray still, and we'll select OK. Now we just want to manage our rules and create a few more. Only cells that contain specific text, the next one's going to be A, and we'll just uh, do all of these in the same style as we did down the bottom here. And now when we put R, A, or C, or if we put I, all of those will have beautiful different colors depending on what we select. And now we can have the different deliverables. What are we actually doing as a team? Is someone responsible for developing? Is someone responsible for gathering requirements? Is someone responsible for the project schedule? What are all of those things? And now we can get together with our team, figure them all out and put them in this beautiful chart that you have just created in Excel. I've had an absolute blast creating this with you and I hope you've had good fun too. I'll see you in the next couple of videos. Bye for now.